Two Utah preschoolers were hospitalized from an allergic reaction to a noxious plant. That plant also grows here in Idaho and can be found in the Boise foothills. So what does your family need to know to stay safe? Our Chase Beefelt is in the foothills to show us what exactly that myrtle spurge looks like so you know what to look out for and how it can be harmful to you and your family. Chase. Kim, myrtle spurge is an invasive species from outside our country. It originally uh, came about in the Mediterranean. Here's what it looks like. It's got these little yellow budding flowers on it and these green spirals that go up through the stem of the plant. Now, it's not dangerous at this distance, not even this close. It's when you really get into the plant, start breaking it apart and touching it is what can make you sick. Myrtle spurge, it's an invasive noxious plant to the gem state that can make you sick to the touch. It has milky sap inside its branches that can cause burning, blistering, swelling, and in the worst cases, blindness. And so if you break the plant's branches, you get that sap on your hands, that can burn you, or it, you know, potentially if it got on your hands and you touched your eyes or something like that, it would be a problem. And obviously don't eat the sap that comes from myrtle spurge. The light green weed with yellow flowers gained popularity in landscaping due to its firewise properties, but that gradually got out of hand. So for example, if you are walking in the foothills and you look up and you see a homeowner, there may be yellow myrtle spurge behind their house that's creeping down into open space reserves or any other public properties. In our region, the USDA reports myrtle spurge presence in Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Utah, California, and Colorado. Myrtle spurge is not only bad for people and animals, but also biodiversity. It basically suffocates all plant life around it. Myrtle spurge is bad because it's an invasive species that removes valuable resources from native plants, and those native plants are necessary for the pollinators and for the other wildlife. And so any plant that forms a dense monoculture is bad. Boise Parks and Recreation effort the removal of the weed annually and host weed warrior trainings for those interested in helping remove myrtle spurge from Idaho. We have a lot of potential right now to actually remove it from Idaho um, if we work together and if people make responsible gardening choices. So if you see this lime green plant with yellow flowers, don't touch it and definitely don't eat it. Make sure your kids, especially the young ones, know myrtle spurge is dangerous. Learning how to properly identify the plants in the foothills, you know, the ones that are dangerous to you is really important part of being outside, right? Don't eat plants that you don't know what they are. Now we are blessed to live in Idaho, the gem state, and have these beautiful foothills just walking distance from some of our houses. Now, as you can see behind me, there are a lot of plants that fit the description of Myrtle Spurge. All of these green plants with these yellow flowers. So just remember to know what you're dealing with and take in the beauty of these foothills. Now, there are three main groups that are at risk for ingesting this myrtle spurge. You want to keep an eye on your dogs when you're at the off-leash parks. We're right at the military reserve, which is an off-leash park. You want to keep an eye on your kids. Make sure they know what this is and they don't touch it or ingest it. And if you're a farmer, just keep it away from your livestock. Kim. All right, Chase, great news. And we could all be a weed warrior on the weekends. Yeah. All right, Chase, thank you for that valuable information.